Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on one of the graph traversal technique called as DFS. DFS stands for depth first search. Okay, next one DFS algorithm traverses a graph in depth world motion. So before going to this one, what is traversing? Traversing means visiting all the vertices in a graph exactly once. That means traversing. So now DFS algorithm traverses a graph in depthward motion. What is depthward motion? For example, you can take this graph. First, we have to take the starting vertex. So, starting vertex has two adjacent vertices 2 and 3. So, among, the, among these two adjacent vertices, we have to select either vertex 2 or vertex 3. Suppose I am selecting vertex 2. So, now we are starting from 1, then we go to 2. Next, what are the adjacent vertices are there for the vertex 2, 4 and 5? Among 4 and 5, we have to take either 4 or 5. Now, I am taking vertex 4. Next, what are the adjacent for vertex 4? Only vertex 8 and vertex 2, but vertex 2 is already visited. Then, we have to select vertex 8. Okay, so now 1, 2, 4, 8. So, this is called as one depthward motion. Okay. Next one, I am selecting vertex 8. Okay. What are the adjacent for vertex 8? 4, 5, 6, 7. Among the 4, 5, 6, 7, 4 already visited. Then, we have to select either one vertex between 5, 6, 7. Okay. Now, I am selecting vertex 5. Okay. Now, what are the adjacent vertices for vertex 5? So, vertex 2 or vertex 8. Okay. Vertex 2 is already visited. Vertex 8 is already visited. Then again we have to backtrack. Backtrack to vertex 8. Now, what are the adjacent vertices for vertex 8? So, 4, 5, 6, 7. Among 4, 5, 6, 7, 4 and 5 vertices are visited. So, then we have to select either 6th vertex or 7th vertex. Now, I am selecting vertex 6. Okay. Now, what are the adjacents for vertex uh, 6? So, 3 and 8. Among 3 and 8, vertex 8 is already visited. Only vertex 3 is not visited. Now, we have to select vertex 3. Okay. Now, what are the adjacents for vertex 3? 1 and 7. Among 1 and 7, vertex 1 is already visited. Now, we have to select vertex 7. Now, consider vertex 7. What are the adjacent vertices for vertex 7? 3 and 8. So, both are visited. Okay. So, again we have to backtrack. So, 3 there are no adjacent unvisited vertices. Again, we have to backtrack to 6. There are no adjacent unvisited vertices. Again, we have to backtrack to 8. Again, there are no unvisited vertices. Again, we have to backtrack to 5. Again, there are no adjacent unvisited vertices. Again, we have to backtrack to 8. There are no adjacent unvisited vertices. Again, we have to backtrack to 4. There are no adjacent unvisited vertices. Again, we have to backtrack to 2. There are no adjacent unvisited vertices. Again, we have to backtrack to 1. There are no adjacent unvisited vertices. So, the BFS order is 1, 2, 4, 8, 5, 6, 3, 7. This is the BFS order. This is, uh, this is called as depth word motion. So, DFS algorithm traverses a graph in depth world motion. Okay. 1, 2, 4, 8, 5, 6, 3, 7. This is called as depth world motion. Next.
Stack data structure is used to implement DFS technique. Stack follows a principle called last in first out. Which element that is entered last into the stack? That element is taken out first. Okay. So the recently inserted element into the stack, that element is taken out from the stack. That principle is called as LIFO principle, last in, first out principle. Okay, next one, DFS produces a spanning tree as the final result. Finally, we are getting the DFS spanning tree, depth first search spanning tree. It contains all the vertices. Next one, the time complexity of DFS algorithm is big O of V plus E where V is the set of vertices and E is the set of edges. Next one, DFS produces non-optimal solution. Okay, for this graph, we may get several DFS, uh, DFS orderings. Okay, so because of the reason, we can say that DFS produces non-optimal solution, whereas uh, BFS produces optimal solution okay next one uh, there are two stack operations are there first one is push operation push means inserting an element into the stack and pop means deleting an element from the stack and stack of top it always points to the top element on the stack so that is nothing but stack of top. So these are the uh, operations that can be performed on the stack. Next one. So this is the algorithm. So first step one, put the starting vertex into the stack. So whatever the, whatever the element we have to take in as starting vertex. So we have to consider any element as a starting vertex. Generally, we have to take a vertex 1 as a starting vertex, but we have to select any vertex as a starting vertex. Okay, mark it as visited. So then whatever the vertex we have to select that can be marked. Next one, display it. Display it means visiting that vertex. Next one, step 2, if stack of top has adjacent unvisited vertex. Stack of top means any vertex is there on the top of the stack. That vertex has any adjacent unvisited vertex. If this condition is true, these three steps can be performed. If this condition is false, then go to the else part, pop the top element from the stack. Either this part or this part is executed. After that, repeat step 2 until stack is empty. Okay, so step 2 is performed until stack is empty. Okay, so this is the DFS algorithm. To implement this DFS algorithm, we have to use stack data structure. What uh, maximum size of stack we have to take? So this is, this is, the, this is the example graph. This graph contains 8 vertices. So then uh, maximum size of the stack we have to take in is 8. Okay. Now consider this example. So this algorithm can be applied on this graph. What is the result we are getting? So now the DFS order is 1, 2, 4, 8, 5, 6, 3, 7. So this is the order. Now I am drawing the depth first spanning tree that is 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, next 8, next 5, next 6, next 3, Next seven. Next seven. So this is the depth first spanning tree for this graph. Okay. This is called as D. Okay. So 
in this way we have to solve the given graph and how the vertices in the given graph using depth first search algorithm so this is the order we have to follow so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates ivasara so this is my channel name and this is the dfs spanning tree for this given graph okay thank you